Hello, welcome. This is Blockchain Bloom, the Blockchain Educator. I'm Atla Pinkin. In today's video, I'm going to talk about that the United States today, on the 19th of January, has reached its debt ceiling. Well, I think we should talk about this. The second topic is that uh, rumors uh, came out that Genesis could feel bankruptcy even already this week. And uh, the third topic is all about that Coinbase stops operating in Japan. So guys, all this in today's video. And if you would like to keep yourself up to date in crypto and blockchain, simply subscribe to the YouTube channel Blockchain Bloom because every day you're getting fresh videos about uh, crypto and blockchain and the economic situation as well, to be honest with you, because it's strongly related to this topic at the moment. And um, yes, I'm making short videos from Monday to Sunday, couple of every day, and these longer videos like this one from Monday to Friday. So hit the subscribe button, bell button and all, and then you get in the notifications as soon as a new video is out. And also hit the like button if you like this kind of content. It's now time to jump into the market where we can see that the Bitcoin is right now down 2% in the last 24 hours. Ethereum down 3.5%. That makes Bitcoin 20,765. Why Ethereum 1,521? When we're looking at the top gainers, well, we don't have that many that uh, in previous days. Kava is the only one which is going up in the top 100, uh, four and a half percent up to two and a half but that's it pretty much among the losers rocket pool it's not rocketing upwards rocketing downwards nine percent down uh shiva inu almost uh ten percent and actually this is the other way around uh gala is the one which goes down the most with more than 13 percent when we're looking at here the candlestick chart we could see this uh, rising wedge forming here for a while this is the the four hour one on the bitcoin and then we broke out here yesterday and then uh we went all the way down almost here to this uh other support level a bit above uh, 20,000 and then we came back all the way here and now we started to do the sideway movements we will see what kind of news we're getting uh, sooner or later not too bad I mean if you remember then uh, we had on the daily the the RSI going really really high and um, therefore it was obvious the sooner it is some kind of correction is coming. It's not a significant one right now, uh, to be honest with you, just just a tiny one. But uh, we will see how this will uh, play out in the next couple of days. Right, and uh, now uh, when we move on to the first topic, it's uh, a very important one. This is what they're discussing now in Davos, uh, in Switzerland, uh, at the World Economic Forum, because the United States actually today has reached its debt ceiling. Well, the debt ceiling, uh, I mean, the United States debt is growing kind of significantly. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, very interesting uh, things right now. First of all, uh, this is the topic what they now uh, discussing in Davos because it's very, very important one. Imagine the world's biggest economy reached its debt ceiling. So it means they really have to think about a solution, to think about where they should cut expenses and so on and so forth. So uh, I think they will make serious decisions. And here you can see the US debt clock. And here, this is the number, this is the national debt. And the ceiling, if you check it here, uh, you can see it's, uh, it's this one here. It was at 31.4 trillion US dollar and by the way this you can see we crossed that line and uh, <clears throat> when you're looking at the debt ceiling and the total public debt since the 1994 this is how this is growing it's growing look at this it's growing significantly <coughs> excuse me and uh, another important thing when you're looking at this data here you know, here in the middle, this uh, bit less than 26 uh, trillion US dollar. This is the GDP of the United States. And this is a scary uh, number, these two, if you compare them, because the, the, the GDP, basically, which is just less than 26 trillion, it's definitely much less than the US debt. 
And now we have reached this depth ceiling, what they have set. And now they have to make kind of important decisions. Otherwise, you know, uh, technically the, the, the US can bankrupt, but they will come out with something because they cannot leave it like this. The important thing I would like to you to focus on, it's uh, how this inflation continues because they, look, because of the depth, the, it shows uh, that it's not going in the, in the good direction and there can be more and more and more money in the system. Um, look, this is the one reason why it's worth to think about Bitcoin, not financial advice, do your homework, but uh, Bitcoin has, you know, a, a hard cap. 21 uh, million uh, by the year 2010, uh, what, 20, um, yeah, uh, 2010, uh, what's that, 2140, man, I'm suffering with numbers here, okay, so, um, in the year 2140, uh, we going to see this, I don't know, I just couldn't get the number right, okay, uh, and it's very, very important to think about it, right? Because uh, the money printing is on. Your money is inflating. So you can see that this system, doesn't matter what they're saying, it's just not working because it's just getting worse and worse and worse. Look at the depth until, you know, since, since you're looking at the screen, how much is going on? And this is not just, you know, pocket money. It's not just a couple of dollars going up. It's going up significantly. And they have reached the depth seeding. So probably they will come up with a solution. They cannot leave it like this, but it just so shows the direction we are going in. Uh, okay, next topic. Well, bad rumors coming uh, from Genesis because it could happen that already this week they feel for bankruptcy. So we do know that uh, Genesis uh, facing difficulties recently and the mother company is Digital Currency Group. We shouldn't forget this because it's a big, big player in the game. Uh, you know, under DCG, just like Genesis is, there's also Grayscale and many other companies. Grayscale Bitcoin Trust is massive. So this definitely has an impact on uh, DCG as well. And now, uh, because it looks like that the negotiations with the creditors which are, are just not going well, they discussing really the uh, you know the the, the bankruptcy uh, feeling and um, well if that's happening that will be definitely bad news because we don't know exactly what kind of impact it will have on DCG and then the whole thing on the crypto market. Um, so it's interesting, you know, first the whole thing started with this kind of uh, FTX problem um, because there was money uh, from Genesis on FTX. Then they stopped withdrawals in November. Um, this is the amount, 175 million US dollar they had locked up in FTX. And uh, overall, however, Genesis has 3 billion shortfall, according to the Financial Times. So it would be nice to see the real numbers here and uh, how the negotiations are going. But uh, this is now, the rumors are kind of out that actually the feeling for bankruptcy might can happen this week already. And uh, this wouldn't be great for sure. Okay, and the last topic is all about that Coinbase stops operating in Japan. Well, we do know that Coinbase is cutting stuff for sure. And the next step to survive is stop operating in Japan, just like Kraken did back at the back in last year, second part of uh, last year. And uh, now uh, Coinbase announced that the customers have basically time until the 16th of February to withdraw their holdings from the platform. And after the 17th of February, whatever is left on Coinbase will be converted into Japanese yen. And um, so basically now they can move the money to self-custody wallet, actually the Coinbase wallet as well, or wherever they would like to, or they simply uh, you know cash out in the bank, uh, whatever they want. But uh, it looks like that because of the present market situation, Coinbase had to make 
uh, strong decisions, and it looks like that probably uh, it was too much for them, uh, too much money uh, to operate in Japan, and they just had to stop it to to save some uh, uh, with this, right? Yeah, well, they pretty uh, actually they 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 really big uh, Coinbase. Um, you know, they big definitely in the United States, one of the biggest exchanges. Binance is the biggest one, obviously, but Coinbase coming after that, and um, well, even they have now difficulties. But if they're doing everything well, they survive. You know, the next bull market it could be blooming for them as well. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Don't forget. Every day you're getting fresh crypto and blockchain news here on Blockchain Bloom. Simply subscribe to this channel, subscribe bell button all, then you're getting the notifications as soon as a new video is out. Hit the like button if you like this kind of content, if that's useful for you. And I'm back tomorrow with the freshest. Have a good one. Bye-bye.